against the island, but I mean, underneath it all, there's a, there's a, a horrible, you know, darkness to it. That that's that's all I can remember of it now. This is somewhere I thought I would never come back to. But I promised myself never when I left here. You know, it's a, it's a place where I don't feel like I can trust people. You know, it makes me feel very paranoid and very, you know, afraid to be here. Damien Nettles' younger brother, James, is returning to the Isle of Wight for the first time in 12 years. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, nice to meet you here. Nice to meet you. Hello, yeah. <laughs> how was your trip? Long. Do you want to go this way? Yeah. And my son, his middle name is Damien. And, you know, he always wants to know about his uncle Damien and what happened to him. And, and it's difficult to explain that to a, to a child. Yeah, it's taken me long enough to try and understand it myself, you know. It's heart-wrenching. Sources from the island's drugs underworld have told us that the chief suspect in Damien's disappearance is convicted dealer Nicky McNamara, one of a core group of notorious dealers linked to this case. So this is our office. This is where we're kind of conducting the investigation from. Do you recognize many of those names? Mm -hmm. You all right? Yeah. It's funny seeing it all laid out like that. James knows many of these characters from his own drug-taking days. It was never hard drugs. It was always things like pot. And so I ended up having, you know, I met meeting these people and going to their houses and, you know, buying things from them. And then to find out that they could possibly have had some kind of link to it, it it's, it makes me sick to my stomach. They've all, they've all done some pretty horrific things. When I know personally that they destroyed lives, yeah. it's not hard to believe that, you know, they. They could have destroyed one other one. Do you feel anger? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know if I feel anything else. Nikki McNamara died in 2002. But James remembers a suspicious encounter with McNamara a few years after Damien disappeared, when James was a young teenager. We had gone round to, to this house one night, and all of a sudden he came in, and uh, he was talking to everybody. And then he looked at me, and he asked who I was. And when they told him, uh, he got all jumpy and and uh, told me, I uh, told them that they had to we all had to leave. And he got very nervous all of a sudden because he found out that it was me in the, in the shed. And you were sure it was because it was you that he kicked everyone out? Yeah, it was, I mean, it was, it was, it was just the, the, way, the way that it happened. Yeah, it was, that's how it seemed to me. Coincidence? Or did Nicky McNamara know something about Damien? Well, we've established that Damien was into weed and possibly some harder stuff. But can we prove he knew McNamara or any of his associates through the island's drug scene? To investigate any links, we're taking James to visit one of Damien's friends, Vicky. What was uh, Vicky's relationship like with Damien? They were best friends, you know. It's... She was she was more of a she was more of one of the lads. She had a special relationship with Damien. How are you feeling? Nervous. Right. A little bit nervous. Take a look. Pat on the nerves, slightly. 
little bit. <laughs> Hello. <Hi. laughs> Hello. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> You're still the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of am. Fine. Oh, it's recording. Oh, look, there you are. They've got record written on it. Yeah. It's it's this is a home movie of James, aged 14, at Vicky's house. They became friends after Damien went missing. I remember the little kid who used to go over there and, you know, it's, it seems like a lifetime ago. Around the time Damien disappeared, Vicky's then boyfriend was getting heavily into drugs. Her boyfriend was supplied by one dealer in particular. She used to come and deal him cannabis, and then over time... Heroin. Heroin. I know that she, she gave it to him for free the yeah. first and second time, and then and after that's that... That's how they do it. Yep. And I remember her asking me once, so what do you think happened to Damien? And I thought it was a really weird question, because I thought, how do you know who Damien is? Because she was so much older. This heroin dealer was close to Nicky McNamara and other notorious dealers. So did Damien know any of these characters? If Damien knew any of these people, then Chris would know. It was Chris and Damien. It was always Chris and Damien. I, don't, I can't... It was one word. Mm. Chris Boone, Damien's best friend and with him the night he went missing. When we first spoke to Chris, he was pretty clear. Damien did not have any connections to Nicky McNamara or his crew, nor did he buy any drugs from them. I knew some of the people by name, the bad guys in town, you know their names, but you, you don't, you don't, and I'm not saying they're bad guys, I'm just saying that they were the guys that you knew uh, where you could get drugs from and stuff like that, so they were kind of notorious in, in town. Um, but. Not, I would never to speak to, um, and I know Damien would never have known him to speak to, really. Um, there's nothing to link Damien, as far as I can see, to link Damien to those people before he'd gone missing. Do you think Chris can't bring himself to tell anyone, or is that a possibility? I mean, I, I want to not. It's a possibility, but I can understand how it could be something that, you know, could be too much to, to share, you know? It would be a long time to carry a secret, wouldn't it? Yeah, but... I mean, I... I don't know how I'd feel if that was the case. Maybe Chris will open up a bit more to James. How's it going? Yeah, very good. You? He was a 16-year-old boy, but he was as tall as most adults. Oh, you know, yeah, taller. Anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think you're quite right. And, you know, I mean, we took full advantage of that, of course, by, um, you know, the fact that he was getting served and things like that. But, it, I mean, it, when, it, when it comes to, like, the, you know, the buying pot and stuff like that... Yeah, yeah. I don't remember him buying it. Yeah. But I remember him having it yeah. all the time. Yeah, We used to do speed if we got a hold of it. Um, you know, there's a good chance we'd probably maybe be taking some trips. If someone gave him a little baggie or something yeah. and said, here, have this, this is great stuff, um, yeah. yeah, he could have done it. One thing Vicky had mentioned, yeah. this, this person here. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 and I can imagine that, um, that maybe Maybe Damien had met, met her. I've never actually, I never made that link. So, yeah. Hmm. 
don't know what to say about that. I, I, I mean, now, now that you say it, you know, then, then if, if, if she had been involved with, um, um, with Vicky's ex-partner, then, then yeah, then, then Damien definitely uh, may, may have come in contact with her. Um, I, I, I wouldn't know. Um, so, yeah, so in um, the house on the corner of Newport Road, Mill Hall Road, mm -hmm. there, we used to go and, and, and visit um, uh, with Vicky and stuff. There were lots of other people living there. and I mean, I, I didn't really know them. Uh, I, I, obviously, I knew some of them because otherwise I wasn't going there, but I, I, didn't, know, I didn't know everyone there. And, and, uh, Damien may have known other people that I didn't uh, a long time ago. Could 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 well have been. Um, it, it does it does it's actually it does make me think, you know, that maybe there could be something in that. It feels like a breakthrough. Now Chris is saying that Damien probably crossed paths with infamous drug dealers on the island. And he's given us the location of a house where they used to score. So who used to live around here? None other than the chief suspect in Damien's disappearance, Nikki McNamara. Damien was regularly getting drugs. We know that. And we know McNamara lived in that house. It's not a big stretch to think that that is where the worlds collide. No, it's not. In there. Yeah. So the opportunity for Damien to come to harm at the hands of drug dealers and Nicky Mac. Much bigger. Much bigger. <laughs> 